Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jess. Welcome back to my studio for another vlog. Happy Friday. Happy Jiho. So I am in my festive Aggie hoodie. Shout out to all the North Carolina a and Aggies out there. Happy Jiho. I'm so excited, you guys. It feels so good to be in a refreshed, organized office. I got everything fully decorated and I just feel so much better and more inspired in here. So today I'm going to be working on packing several orders. I'm in mid-production right now when I picked up the camera. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm currently working on. And then I have several new items that I'm going to be releasing soon that I want to show you guys as well. Today is actually my two-year anniversary for J Lux. Woo! You guys, can you believe it's been two years since I launched my small business? That's crazy. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, but I also feel like I haven't done much. Like, I don't know. I've learned a lot just from like, if I look back to when I first started my business, I've grown so much and learned so much, but I still like there's so much more growth yet to come. So I'm excited for the next year and see how the business does, but I'm going to stop rambling. Let's go ahead and get to work and then I'll show you guys the new items. Okay, y'all. So as I mentioned, I am literally in mid-production right now. I am working on several large orders that came in this week. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. I feel like I say that every video, but y'all don't understand. You all are what is making me successful in my business journey. So thank you, thank you, thank you. The order that I'm currently working on is for Miss Tony. Thank you so much, Tony, for your order. She has ordered two A7 cash wallets four sets of envelopes custom made, which is what I'm working on currently, and then a payday bingo savings challenge box, which y'all, I think she bought the last one. So we are completely out of stock and we need to re-up. So they are coming back. I've got so many requests for them and I'm excited for y'all, but y'all bear with me. Okay. They take so much time and effort to put together. So I'm going to get on it. I'm going to get, it. I know y'all want them. I'm going to get on it. So let me show you guys what I'm currently working on. We are in mid-production right now. So she has ordered five sets of custom envelopes. I have already started making the first two sets. These are the other two that I've already cut out in the Cricut just because they were all the same color. She has one more that I need to go ahead and cut in black, which I think I'll go ahead and do first. And then we'll get to putting the envelopes together. y'all all of the weeding is done so I've got her gold her silver and her black and just a small little update for you guys remember I mentioned in my last vlog I needed a trash can over here isn't it cute and it's in J-Lux green and the gold like I just had to get it you guys it's so cute I found it on Amazon and I can just throw my trash in here as I'm working dump it when I'm ready and it fits perfectly. It's like that spot was meant for the trash can. My office is just coming together so nicely. I love it. I love working up here. So I'm going to work on finishing up her envelopes. Let me go ahead and grab the other two and let me show y'all my organization. I'm so proud of it. So I did mention to you guys that I wasn't ready to do a full studio tour until I get everything labeled and have everything set how I really want it to be. But here's what the storage is looking like so far from my envelopes. It is so much more convenient, you guys. And as you can see, I've started working on some of my savings challenge boxes, which I'm so excited about. I cannot wait to release those back for you guys. Y'all really love them and I sell out every time they launch. So yeah, but anywho, she ordered two sets of the vertical tabbed envelopes. This is where I keep the vertical ones. They do come as a set of six and they are tabbed. So I will be able to put labels on these for her. And then she also ordered some of the A7 size, which I just got this storage bin to work on processing orders. Um, but here's why I keep those here. So we're going to go ahead and work on putting these together. We, actually, we might use this a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
First set is done. Isn't it pretty? I just love the gold font. So I have hundreds, 50, 20, tens, fives, and ones. So cute. So now after I finish all of them, I'll go in and print all of the labels to go across the tabs. That's so pretty. Another set done. All right, you guys, I finished all of the weeding, made the envelopes, and I have them all organized in this little tray here. So what I'm gonna work on now is printing out the labels to go on the tabs. So as you guys can see, for example, here, here she's got ones, you guys can read that. So I'm gonna print out a label that says ones here on the tab as well. So it's gonna take some adjustments just because these tabs are a little bit bigger than my A7 ones and the A7 ones, I can see <laughs> how short the tab is there. So they look really good, you guys, though. I love these plastic envelopes. So, so I'm going to play around with the settings on my label maker. This is the one that I use. I got it off of Amazon. I think I have it linked down in my store. If not, I'll try to remember to link it for y'all. But there's a ton of different fonts that I can use on here. So it's really fun. So I'm going to work on finishing up the rest of the orders in the queue. I think I have four others. I'm not going to bore y'all with packing orders. I feel like I do that every vlog. <laughs> Go to the post office and I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, y'all. So I finally finished all of her envelopes. So here is the first set. We've got ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, and hundreds. She got double sets of these in gold. And again, these are the vertical tabbed envelopes. Got one set of those, two sets. She also got a set in silver. So here's what the silver ones look like. Same categories, ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, and hundreds. Love this font as well. Third set. Lastly, she got two sets in the A7 size. And here's how these look. Love this font. Thank you again, Tony, for your order. All right, so the last items that she ordered are two wallets, and here is the first one. This is my Sangria A7 Cash Wallet. Here's what the inside looks like. Perfect for fall. So I think this is so pretty, guys. This is like the perfect color for fall. I'll package this up for her into a nice protective dust bag with my logo. And then she also ordered the alabaster one. This one is a pretty light cream color. Here's what the inside of this one looks like. So, so pretty. And y'all, literally, I only have one left of these. So, not sure when I'm gonna get more in stock because I also, like I told you guys before, we're plan I was planning on launching some new products. So, we'll see. All right. And then last but not least, she ordered my semi-monthly savings challenge box, which these will be coming back in stock soon, you guys. I know I've heard you guys. I've seen your requests and your messages. These will be coming back shortly. So here's what you get inside the box. You get the actual savings challenge cards for the game, the instructions, and then you get plenty of envelopes for the challenge, depending on whether you order the semi-monthly or the Bi-weekly, you'll get the correct amount of envelopes. So the semi-monthly does include, I think, 24. I think that's right. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, but I promise you'll get the right amount of envelopes in here. I made these last year. This is the last one that I had in stock. 
and it's heading out. All right, you guys, so I got all the orders completed. My queue is completely empty, which feels amazing. I'm going to head to the post office, drop them off, go to the bank, and then I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye, y'all. morning y'all so it is Sunday it is a super gloomy rainy Sunday morning I'm taking it super slow today we've got all the leaves outside starting to change I'm loving the Christmas in the air it's just all fall vibes so I've got my pumpkin spice latte do y'all like my cup it says in my pumpkin spice era and the inside is plaid like love 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 this mug it's so cute also got my festive little sweatshirt on y'all know I'm a cat lady and Halloween is in a couple of days so just thought it was fitting I'm trying to just soak in all the cozy fall vibes also wanted to sit down and come on camera and kind of update you guys on what's been going on because literally it's been a week since I picked up the camera and filmed that last clip for y'all so a lot has been going on not so much in a good way but also feel like it's going to be beneficial for my business. So in the last clip, I mentioned to you guys that I had some new products that I have to share with you guys, which I'm so excited about. Some of them will not be happening, unfortunately, but so I don't want this to be too long and drawn out. I'm not going to get into too much detail about all of the drama that went on, but basically, long story short, I started the design process for this new collection at the beginning of July in order to have plenty of time to have the products manufactured, sent to me, marketed to you guys before launch in October. And unfortunately, some things went wrong and I ended up having to cancel my order with my manufacturer, which did not go well at all. Um, to the point where I had to get mediators involved and I had a whole case going. I won my case, which I'm super happy about, and I got my money back. So I feel good about that. But honestly, you guys, going through that entire process was just so stressful. And it's kind of made me step back and rethink my business. Like, really, this is not what I wanted for my small business. I did not want to have most of my products manufactured overseas and then just shipped to you guys. Like, that's not my plan at all. I really, really want to get back into the crafting and hand making portion of my business um, just because that's what really brings me joy, you guys. I love crafting. I've been a crafter ever since I was a little child. My mom recognized that at a really young age for me. So, Literally all I did was crafts as a young girl. I did everything from growing my own crystals to paper crafting, to making jewelry, scrapbooking, all types of things. Like I've always been into stationery. So that's what I really wanna get back to. So I have made the executive decision to try and cut out the middleman and the overseas manufacturers as much as possible. And I'm gonna be making my products at home myself, which I'm super nervous about, but I'm so excited as well, you guys. Like, so if you guys have noticed, I've been kind of quiet on my social media over the past week just because it's been kind of a roller coaster of emotions and thoughts, just trying to figure out 
is this going to be worth my time and investment? Because making my own stuff at home is going to be a lot more time consuming versus just placing an order and waiting for it to get here. So yeah, y'all, I think that's kind of like the big question for all small business owners, right? Is, is this going to do well? Which I'm hoping it will, you guys. I hope you guys will love my products as much as I enjoy making them. I know you all love my planner inserts, so I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of a spoiler alert. I have been working on something behind the scenes, kind of like a little secret that I've been keeping from y'all. I am going to be launching my own planner for 2025 and I'm making at home myself. Like, ah! I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous, you guys. So I have been working on the designs like all week. That's what I've been doing <laughs> off camera. Um, so I have several designs that I've been working on tweaking and also have placed the order for some new machinery that I'm going to be using in order to make the products at home, which... I'm so excited about you guys. Like, I just am so excited to be able to bring my designs to life myself, put more of my quality and just a little attention to detail, you know, that make the small businesses so special. Can't wait to bring that to y'all. So I'm excited. I'm going to try and bring you guys along for the process as much as possible, like filming the trial and error, the behind the scenes on how I'm making these at home myself. And then... I hope y'all love them. Like, that is just my, this is going to be my new baby. I'm so excited. So yeah, you guys, that is the update. That's what's been going on for the past week in my head. I just wanted to relay that to y'all. Um, so I'm going to try and take today really slow, really chill vibes. Um, I do have some orders in my queue that have come in that I need to get out, which I don't know, y'all. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you enjoy watching me pack orders. Because I feel like I do that every single vlog, but I don't want every vlog to be redundant so you guys let me know if you're interested in seeing me package orders going forward i know you all love seeing your own orders if you place the order you love seeing them like filmed on youtube as their package which i love that for you guys as well so yeah y'all i'm gonna stop rambling i am going to finish my latte probably do a little bit of design work on the computer and then we'll just see how today goes So it is hours later at this point and y'all please ignore my hair. I don't know what's going on. The humidity has gotten to it and it's just <laughs> whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I finally got all of my planner inserts redesigned and I'm so excited to get them into planner format for y'all. Like, oh, I'm so excited about doing this all myself. So um, I'm not sure if you guys will remember, but I did used to offer planner dashboards as well, which... I'm still thinking about offering. I just ran into a lot of issues with getting them printed in the right color quality that I want. So I have a new printer that I'm going to hopefully be able to print them on. But I've been working on those redesigns as well. Let me show you guys really quickly the ones that I did have. Okay, so here are a few of the designs that I had originally for quarter four. So I have one that explains the meaning of soft life. I have another one for relaxation. This was for November. And then this one I had designed for December. It's just a Christmas tree. Going forward, I really want to offer seasonal dashboards. I just feel like in my brain that makes more sense. And I think it'll be easier for me to manage. So dashboards will be coming soon. I'm going to go ahead and get the planner inserts printed for her first. Also, y'all, I love the setup that I have here. I now have my paper right underneath me when I need it. And I can just load the printer so much easier instead of printing my design over here, running across the room to go set up the printer and coming back to hit print and then make sure it's, it's just too much to be running all across the room. So love the new setup that my printer is right underneath my desk now. so much better you guys look her eyes still winking just a little bit 
She's still on antibiotic ointment, but she's doing so much better. Hey y'all, so it is several hours later at this point. I got most of the orders done, but I ran into a little bit of a hiccup. So I am currently watching YouTube videos to learn how to set up this new printer that I purchased. Here it is. This is the Munbin Bluetooth printer. So I do have a thermal printer already that I got originally from UPS for free. I've been using that for the past two years. And for some reason, my computer doesn't want to recognize the printer anymore and it says that the drivers are unavailable. So this came, perfect timing. So I'm trying to figure out how to set this up. I just unboxed it. So here's the box that it came in. This is the Munbin ITPP130B. And I just love that it's nice and sleek and compact. It did come with some labels that I can use, just like test sample labels and of course the manual, I've got a USB cable, the power cord, and a little Bluetooth thing that I don't know what this is for. So I'm trying to figure out how to hook this up, you guys. So I'm watching videos because I am a visual learner. Like I never read manuals and when I read them, they still don't help. And for setup, it says, go to YouTube and watch the video. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Um, because I need to get these labels printed so that you guys can get your orders. So yeah, that's where we're at. And I am at this step where it says to plug in the printer and hold on, let me rewind. So hold on. I think she said something about if you're doing Bluetooth, you don't need the cord. Okay, so I don't need this cord. It's on, <laughs> getting somewhere. Let me set it over here, make some room. All right, so let me figure out how to get this connected to my computer. Okay, so I'm guessing that the labels feed in through the back. So I've got to get some kind of holder. I know it comes Don't mind my cats, they're playing in the curtains. <laughs> um, okay, so let me try and get this fed through. And she said that, hold on, how did she put this in? Let's see. Okay, so I was just checking to see how far she pulled it through. So she did pull it all the way to the front, like so, and she says, it should automatically start to read and calibrate. Okay, hers didn't do all that. Okay, 
Okay, I guess we're good there. <laughs> Let's see what I'm supposed to do next. Okay, so she said to press and hold this button so it can read and calibrate. Cool, okay. Bluetooth connection for smartphone or tablet. So can I not connect Bluetooth from my laptop? Like this just says I have to plug it in for laptop or PC. Like I already have that. Why would I need a new one? This is so unhelpful. Okay, I'm gonna keep watching. This is why I'm a visual learner. Oh, add device, okay. I love when things make it so easy. Okay, so. Get all this trash out of my way because I feel like this is stressing me out even more. I still don't know what this is for. She did say something about plugging it into your computer, but I mean, it's Bluetooth. Why do I need to plug anything in? That's the whole point of me getting a Bluetooth printer. <laughs> okay, so it's done installing on my laptop. So let me see now if I can print her label. Fingers crossed this goes smoothly. Why does this keep saying driver is unavailable? What does that mean? This is the same thing it was doing for my other one. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm about to have a whole meltdown. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I think I figured out the problem. I think I still have to use this cord, which is really annoying because I want to be able to put this away from my laptop and not have it plugged in. That was the whole point of me buying this printer. So I don't know. I'm gonna try and print a label again and see if it works with it plugged in. So fingers crossed this works. Okay, it says it's ready. Let's see. At least I can get her order out the door today. That was the goal. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, that stressed me out. So apparently I do need this USB cord, which I really want to find a way that I don't have to have this plugged up to my computer. Like what is the point of having Bluetooth if it still has to be plugged in? Like I just don't understand that at all. I need to send them an email, but anywho, order is done. I'm going to smack the label on the box, ship it tomorrow and I'm going to go eat some dinner now. So <laughs> anywho, thank you guys so much for tuning in for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you in the next video.